you're a graphic designer or photographer, Photoshop is one of the most powerful photo editors that you can use. Over time, it can be quite expensive. Even with Adobe's most basic plan, it'll cost you more than $250 per year to use Photoshop. Thankfully, there are free alternatives with many of the same features. Coming up, I'll count down the five best free alternatives to Photoshop that will help you to create and edit your images like a pro. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown at number five is Photoscape X. Don't let the ranking deter you. This program is feature packed and even supports raw files. Other notable features include a photo viewer, several batch options, a collage maker, GIF creator, and there are tons of filters, effects, and various other tools to transform your image. The layout is simple without too much clutter, which makes it a great choice for beginners. The bar along the top is where you can select the type of project you're working on. This is where you can select the editor, collage maker, and the GIF creator. When editing a photo, all the tools are located in the upper right. There may be times when all you need to do to make your photo perfect is just to apply a new filter or effect. If you need any help using any of the features, select the Photoscape icon in the upper left. Select the topic you need help with. I'll go with 3D objects. To the right, click on the image. This will open a web page in your browser with a tutorial showing you how to use that feature. Photoscape X is only available for Windows 10 or newer and Mac OS. For those of you running an older version of Windows, the link to Photoscape 3.7 is still available on their homepage. For Windows 10 and 11, they do offer a pro version of Photoscape X in the Microsoft Store for around $40 with additional tools for advanced users. For most people, the tools in the free version will be enough to satisfy their photo editing needs. Coming in at number four is Paint.net. Its initial release was in 2004 as a more advanced alternative of Microsoft Paint. It has evolved quite a bit over the years and now includes blending and layer support, automatic filters, and external plugins created from the community that can be added to expand its capability. The user interface is also better looking than it used to be and now has a dark theme built in. Most of the tools you would ever need are located in the toolbar on the left. In the menu bar here at the top, you'll find additional tools and features, including effects to transform your image. Paint.net is only available for Windows 10 and Windows 11. You can get it from the developer's website for completely free with the option to donate. Or if you prefer, you can get it from the Microsoft Store for a minimal cost with the proceeds supporting the development of Paint.net. Coming in at number three is Krita. This open source program in recent years has improved quite a bit with a ton of features and is great for artists that are into digital painting. In addition to the standard editing tools, its large amount of brush customizations and painter's palette have made this program popular with people that do creative image design. It has a great looking layout with the primary tools along the left. On the right side of the image is the advanced color selector. Below that are your layers and a good amount of brush presets. To bring up the handy pop-up palette, in the left, select the freehand brush tool. Then inside your image, right click. In the upper left of the palette are your foreground and background colors. The color selector is located in the middle and the outer ring has quick access buttons to your brush presets. Once you get familiar with the pop-up palette, it does speed up the workflow quite a bit. If you want to learn how to use Krita, check out the manual on their site, which includes tutorials and a getting started guide. Krita is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Before we jump into the top two picks, I'll quickly go over four honorable mentions that might be worth your time to check out. For quick and easy tweaks to your photos, Adobe does offer a free program called Photoshop Express for Windows, Android, and iOS. Some of you may remember Pixlr Editor. With it being phased out a few years ago due to security concerns with Flash, Pixlr Express is their new free online photo editor with the basic tools included to quickly edit your photos within your favorite web browser. I'll finish the bonus picks with two paid programs you might want to check out. Affinity Photo is a fantastic program that can do almost anything Photoshop can. In some ways, it's actually better. Affinity Photo seems to be less bloated with improved stability and less crashes than Photoshop. 
It's available for a one-time fixed cost of just $69.99 for Windows and Mac. It might be worth it to you if you want to avoid the reoccurring fees associated with Adobe Photoshop. And Pixelmator Pro is a macOS program that has been gaining popularity lately with tools and features similar to Photoshop. It's available in the App Store for around $50. That's it for the honorable mentions. Let's head back to the countdown. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two is GIMP. This powerful open source photo editing software can do just about anything Photoshop can with zero cost, but does have a slight learning curve. It includes advanced filters and effects, the ability to work with layers, color adjustments, transformations, and is compatible with most image file formats, including support for Photoshop's PSD files. GIMP's layout has been described by many people as being clunky, especially from those that have been longtime users of Photoshop. There's a large set of tools located in the toolbox on the left. Over in the right is where you can find the layers and brushes. I personally prefer the floating windows layout. If you don't and you want a more traditional one window layout, in the menu bar, select windows and tick the box next to single window mode. And to switch it back, just go back into windows again and untick the box. GIMP is still my go-to image editor when creating thumbnails for videos on this channel. Once you get the hang of it, GIMP is really easy to use. If you've never used GIMP, do check out their numerous tutorials located on their site. It's available to download for Linux, Mac, and Windows. In the top spot, coming in at number one, is the online image editor, Photopea. It's a web app, so it'll run in any major browser without the need to download and install any software. It supports almost any image file type, including Photoshop project files and raw images from your camera. Of all the photo editors mentioned in this video, the layout of Photopea most closely resembles Photoshop, with the tools along the left and the layers window here on the right. Let's go to File here in the menu bar. This is where you can save your project as a PSD and export individual images as a PNG, JPEG, and many others. If you click on Learn here in the upper right, it will open a new tab with tutorials that will teach you how to use Photopea. While Photopea is free and is the best alternative that most closely resembles Photoshop, it is ad supported. To remove the ads and get additional steps in your history, they do have plans that start at $5 per month. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you know of another Photoshop alternative we should consider, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with our latest top fives and other tech-related stuff.